Now, there are questions about water clarity as well. Local 5's Aaron Taylor checked out Lake Winnebago today to see how preparations were coming along despite the conditions. Sturgeon spears are on their way out in search of a thrill. I think it's even better than shooting a 12 point buck. To the dedicated spears, a chance to get a sturgeon is worth leaving vacation. I was in Florida, so I had to fly back to here just to come for sturgeon spearing. That's a plane ride that was almost for nothing. A week ago, it was terrible out here. Now, no ice is safe ice, but sturgeon spears tell me that they think their best bet this year is right here on the north side of Lake Winnebago. The east side, west side, yeah, I'd, I'd be pretty nervous over there, but. Here on the north end, it looks pretty good. We got 14 inches. And so a village of shanties has popped up on this end of the lake. We're heavily crowded, but the ice conditions are good. So I don't blame them for being where we are. And that's why we are where we are, because of safe conditions. They say clarity has also improved. I could see the bottom. Um, basically, every fisherman, that's their goal is to see bottom. Even the best of conditions can't guarantee a fish. It's just a lot of luck is really what it is. Some guy's been spearing for 20 years, never seen a fish. But those dedicated to the sport will keep chasing the thrill. I got one 20 years ago, and I got hooked immediately. It's a rush when you get one. Even if they don't get one this time around. It's the camaraderie of the guys coming out here. It's very enjoyable anyways. About as enjoyable as a Wisconsin winter can be. I tell you what, I will be going back to Florida though. In Menasha, Aaron Taylor, Local 5 News. Don't blame me. Thanks, Aaron. DNR officials expect the season to run its full 16 days. Now,